I'm Kenneth. My parents are from Jamaica, uh, both parents in the Caribbean. Um, they came over in the late 50s and early 60s, uh, invited here by the British government because of staff shortages to help build uh, the British economy. To find themselves a sort of hard-working, sort of religious people uh, being faced with all sorts of uh, not very nice things um, was quite a shock, for, but purely on the basis of their race. But I would imagine there's an element that was class-related as well. In my early lifetime as a youngster, I remember being beaten up, coming back from from Cubs. I know what could get more British than Cubs and Scouts, but yeah, there was a, a lot of people then who uh, took great relish in sort of showing their manhood in that particular way, even though they were a lot older than us and we were just uh, just lads. Um, but I think um, things have got better, but it's still a problem. I mean, what I would say is the discrimination now is less obvious, it's more subtle, it's more sophisticated. And to that extent, it's a bit more difficult to combat because, you, you know, when it's in your face, you can say, well, right, I definitely know why you've done that. When it's a you know a little bit more latent or hidden, you, it, you kind of feel it, but you don't know. We need to remember that we've overcome a great deal to be in the position that we're in. You know, there's been uh, all sorts of ups and downs. Um, we've showed a great deal of strength and resilience. Um, I think it's important to remember the broader sort of successes and achievements of the black community as a whole. I think this is important in terms of our identity, our self-esteem, and you could argue in terms of our broader sort of collective mental health. Um, and unless we uh, take active efforts to celebrate those things more, uh, uh, in addition to the social justice sort of political stuff, um, uh, then we're doing ourselves a disservice. There's a debate about uh, why just one month, you know, what happened to the other 11 months uh, that I didn't want to exclude. And I think what some people miss, uh, and I'm pointing to the black community in particular here, is that they could see uh, October as a culmination of black history throughout the year. So that they, they take the other 11 months as being really important, but if you like October is, is the festival. And if they looked at it from that point of view, then this thing, this, uh, you know, griping about the one month might disappear.